Energy's plans to spend hundreds of millions of ratepayer dollars over the next decade in part to bury hundreds of miles of power lines. The company says the investment will increase reliability and decrease outages by making them more resilient to ice and tree limbs. But that massive project is facing significant delays. Ben Jordan goes in depth to find answers about why several communities scheduled to get their upgrade last year are still waiting. We Energy says 90% of the time this Port Washington neighborhood loses power is because of trees or tree limbs falling on the overhead lines, an issue they were planning to solve last year by burying them, but it's one of many currently on hold. Oftentimes we lose power, but you know, downtown will have power. In a neighborhood full of towering trees. There was a time where it happened a lot. Kathy DeMaria knows falling branches knock out power far more often here than what a typical We Energy's customer experiences. We Energy's data shows between 2018 and 2021, Kathy lost power 19 times. The biggest frustration is having a sump pump worrying if your basement's going to flood. That's my number one worry. We Energies identified a six mile stretch surrounding Kathy's home to bury power lines as a process called undergrounding helps prevent outages caused by bad weather and falling trees. It's one of nine line burying projects across southeastern Wisconsin that were supposed to happen last year that have been deferred into the future. What are the implications of deferring those projects? Those specific projects, the implications were simply that they will get pushed a few years. Um, as far as overall reliability, we did other reliability work. We Energy spokesman Brendan Conway says it isn't the company's fault, rather a supply chain issue leading to a shortage of the type of transformers needed for buried power lines. It would be incorrect to uh, frame this as some sort of failure, right? It is a nationwide transformer shortage. There's been congressional hearings on this, right? We are at the behest of that. If We Energy's full plan comes to fruition, the company will spend about $700 million over the next decade to make its service more reliable for customers, in large part by burying six to 800 miles of power lines that are currently overhead. Oh, we'll be watching this issue closely. Tom Content is the executive director of the Citizens Utility Board, a nonprofit that advocates for residential and small business customers of Wisconsin and utility companies. This utility is making a lot of money and so we just want to make sure they're spending the money wisely. Tom says he doesn't have an issue with buried lines, but he's paying close attention to make sure the projects help those who need it most and whether it's cost effective. It's going to be another issue. We energies expect to come in for another price increase proposal as soon as uh, the end of March. So We'll be watching this and there are other, other any requests for increases really closely on behalf of the customers. Back to the buried lines, We Energy says it was only able to put 20 miles underground last year, but it's ramping up to 50 miles this year with far more in the future. Reporting in Port Washington, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.